Hi, I'm Meito from Moxa, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the MGate 5217 series, a secure, rugged, and easy to use Modbus to BACnet gateway. Integrating Modbus devices into your BACnet IP network can be a challenge due to the different protocols involved. Here, we have a BACnet IP client simulator running on this PC, and we have a power meter that measures the usage and the quality of the power coming through this power line. To connect this power meter to our BACnet IP network, we have to convert Modbus RTU protocol, which the power meter uses, to BACnet IP protocol, which our BACnet IP client uses. I'm going to show you how to set this up with the MGate 5217 in just five steps. To get started, we'll need to log in to the MGate's web console. By default, the IP address is 192.168.127.254. The account is admin and the password is Moxa. Make sure you change your password to help keep your MGate secure. On the network settings page, assign an IP address and netmask for the MGate, then click Submit. On the serial settings page, enter the serial parameter settings for your Modbus slave device, such as the baud rate, parity, and which interface to use, then click Submit. Select your protocol by going to Protocol Settings, then Protocol Conversion. We'll select Modbus RTU ASCII Slave as our device protocol for our power meter, then we'll click Submit. Because we selected Modbus RTU ASCII for our protocol, the M gate will act as a Modbus master, and we can configure the related settings by clicking on Modbus RTU ASCII Master. Here, select which Modbus mode will be used. To monitor the power data from the power meter in our demo, we need to click Add to add our Modbus device. Fill in the details as needed, such as the slave ID and the device name to help identify the device, then click Done. Now we're going to add Modbus commands so we can get voltage and frequency data. To do so, we select our power meter, click Edit, then click Add to add a command. Enter the command details, such as the name, data format, function code, read starting address, and endian swap. Choose the BACnet object type you want to convert to and set the measuring unit. Here, we're selecting analog input as the object type and electrical volts as our unit. We'll also set our COV increment. And then finally, we'll click Done. Now we'll go ahead and add another Modbus command so we can get frequency data. After adding the Modbus commands, click Done and then submit to save your changes. The M gate will also act as a BACnet IP server, and in BACnet IP server settings, you can configure basic parameters such as device name, device instance, and a BACnet IP port. Now, when we go to the IO data mapping page, we can see that our voltage and frequency information can be read through analog inputs 0 and 1. After going to Save Restart and clicking Submit to apply our changes, we're done. Now, in our BACnet IP client, we can monitor our power meter's voltage and frequency data. You can follow these steps to add other commands so you can monitor power consumption, current, and more, giving you the data you need to optimize your energy usage. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.